Hello everybody, this is the Teutonic Plague and welcome to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins! That's right! This is the first Let's Play that I'm fucking making on this channel! Long time coming, but it's here at last. And personally, I think Dragon Age is Bioware's best work by far. So, this, folks, will not be a blind LP. I know what to do and how to do it. I have played and beaten this game before. I have played and beaten Dragon Age 2. And I have played, but not beaten, Dragon Age Inquisition. And the only reason I haven't beaten Inquisition yet is because my fucking computer decided to go... <laughs> and I was without a computer for a while, as you know, and then I got... And I got, uh... This some bitch right here. So, here's how this is gonna go down. I've got the ultimate edition of the game, and that means that I've got all the DLCs. Let's take a look at what I've got. I've got the Warden's Keep, the Blood Dragon Armor, the Stone Prisoner, Golems, Golems Mike, Witch Hunt, Awakening, Return to Ostagar, Feast Day Gift, Feast Day Pranks. Golem's Might for Awakening, The Darkspawn Chronicles, Blight Blood, Witchcraft, Blight Blood and Witchcraft for Awakening, Liliana Song, Battle Dress of the Provocateur for our Origins and Awakening, the Go and the Golems of Amgarak. Now, here's how I'm gonna, here's literally how I'm gonna play the game. You see these other campaigns here? We're gonna start with the goddamn basic game, alright? And from there, we're gonna work our way into Witch Hunt, and then we're gonna do Awakening. Witch Hunt and Awakening are set in stone. That's gonna happen. You will see Witch Hunt, and you will see Awakening. All right, guys? Now, as for the Darkspawn Chronicles, you can play as the bad guys, which is very interesting to me. Liliana Song and the Golems of Amgarak. Uh, I'm gonna leave that up to the people. I'm going to put it to the vote. We're going to put a poll on the channel as to what DLC you want to see next. After we've done both Witch Hunt and Awakening. Alright. Now, yes, folks, I do have Dragon Age 2. And I do have Dragon Age Inquisition. And at the time of recording this video, uh, Bioware is working on a fourth installment in the franchise, which when it's out, I intend to grab that as well. So we've got a lot of Dragon Age coming down the pike, and we're gonna, it's all gonna start here. Baby's first Let's Play, Dragon Age Origins. What do you say we start a new game? The low game option isn't grayed out, as you can see. Uh, Valkarin, uh, Valkarin I used to... Uh, test out the game when I bought it back on the 8th and you didn't come here to see me test the game you came here to see me actually play the goddamn thing so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this fucking son of a bitch uh, origins basic game let's go The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the Deep Roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Until 
Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. All right, it's our turn now. So I had to shut the fuck up for the movie, but there is one thing I need to mention, I want to mention, as to how we're going to play. Folks, there are romance options. There are romance options in this game, and I intend to pursue one. I'm not going to tell you who it is, but I am going to tell you this. I'm going to be playing as a dude. I mean, nothing against nobody, nothing against anybody. But I always play guy characters. And I always play them straight because, well, I'm, a, I'm straight and I'm a man, so stick with what I know, right? So, uh, we're going to play as a guy and we're going to go for one of the ladies. One of the lovely ladies of Dragon Age Origins. All right, with that being said, the background you select will determine which of six distinct openings there are stories you play through. It also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. With that having been said, we're going to be an elf, we're going to be a rogue, we're going to roll with the Dalish Elves. Proud of your role as one of the few true elves, you have always assumed you would spend your life with your tribe until a chance encounter with a relic of your people's past threatens to tear you away from everything you have ever known. Greetings. Interesting. First and foremost, the name. I don't like the name Theron. Let's call this guy... What's a cool name for an elf? I've got it. How about Krendar? This preset is this. All right, nice and ruddy. Yeah, nice and ruddy, just like that. I mean, he's a Dalish elf. He's been outside. He's a little tan. He's he's got his bronze on. He's also, of course, got ink. Let's get ink the fuck up. There we go. Where do I want this? That looks cool. Let's go with that. I like this. I like these tattoos. All right. His hair. Boom. I want black hair. So just jet black, just like that. I mean, it looks more dark brown to me, but... Uh, the eyebrow color... We've got the option to have no eyebrows at all, but, well, then I just look like a jerk. So, this it shall be. All right, eye shape. I like the eye color the way it is. So, eye shape. <laughs> eh, the eye shape's fine. Let's make him a little bigger. Not like anime big, but not like beady either. I don't trust beady eyes. Alright. Spacing. 
a little higher on his face. His eye color is fine unless, hold on. No. 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 Yes. All right, so the original eye color was fine. Let's make these eyebrows a little higher, lower. There we go, just like that. His nose. Bigger. Alright. Make the nostrils a little narrower so it's less of a honker. Because it was a bit of a honker, folks, not gonna lie. That. The tip can be a little wider. I'm okay with that. Everything looks good here. Can we bring the nose in just a hair like this? There we go, his mouth. Let's see here. Make it a little lower, make his lips a little thinner. Make his mouth a little narrower. This is good. Lovely. Yeah, right. Cheekbone depth. I know this is boring, folks. It's customization. Barely anybody wants to see that. You can... Uh... Yeah. All right. Cheek width. We'll make his cheeks a little wider. Just, just wipe his face a little bit. He's an elf. Elves are supposed to have high cheekbones, right? So, chin height, just like this. We can have his chin jut out a little bit. Right? Jaw width. His chin a little narrower to match. Bit of a narrow face, but he's an elf. He's supposed to have a bit delicate features, I guess. Hike those ears up, make them a little bigger. Thicken his neck just a hair. That. Portrait, all right. Look down a little bit for me. Like that, like this. Get in the middle where you belong. I choose this background here. His voice. How do you do? Sweet. Next. All right. So we're going to play this guy as an archer. He's going to be a bow guy with a bow with dual weapons on the side in case things get up close and fucking personal. All right. So, uh,. Let's give him some strength. Give him some constitution. And a little more. Eh, let's put the rest of the. Let's put the other point strength. Get him weapons tra combat training next. Alright. Deft hands. Pinning shot. Alright. Let's play some fucking games. Normal difficulty is fine. Proceed. You were born amidst the Dalish elves, noble wanderers who refused to join the society of humans that subjugated their homeland so long ago. The Dalish traveled the land in tightly knit clans, struggling to maintain their half-forgotten law in a human world that fears and despises them. You spend your time hunting with your clanmate Tamlin in the forests, and as is sometimes the case, your quarry is not always the local wildlife. It's a Dalish! And you three are somewhere you shouldn't be. Let us pass, Elf. You have no right to stop us. No? We will see about that, won't we? You're just in time. I found these humans lurking in the bushes. Bandits, no doubt. 
We aren't bandits, I swear. Please don't hurt us. You Shemlin are pathetic. It's hard to believe you ever drove us from our homeland. We've never done nothing to you, Dalish. We didn't even know this forest was yours. This forest isn't ours, fool. You've stumbled too close to our camp. You Shems are like vermin. We can't trust you not to make mischief. What do you say, Lethalon? What should we do with them? <clears throat> hmm. Let's find out what they're doing here. Does it matter? Hunting or banditry, we'll need to move camp if we let them live. L look, we didn't come here to be trouble. We just found a cave. Yes, a cave. With ruins like I've never seen. We thought there might be, uh... Treasure? So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits. <clears throat> if you've been there, you should have treasure to prove it. But I, uh, I have proof. Here. We found this just inside the entrance. The stone has carvings. Is this Elvish? Written Elvish? There's, there's more in the ruins. We didn't get very far in, though. Why not? There was a demon. It was huge with black eyes. Thank the Maker we were able to outrun it. <sighs> a demon. Where is this cave? Just off the west, I think. There's a cave in the rock face and a huge hole just inside. Well, do you trust them? <clears throat> Shall we let them go? Eh, you frightened them enough. They won't bother us. Run along then, Shems. And don't come back until we Dalish have moved on. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Well, shall we see if there's any truth to this story? These carvings make me curious. Sounds like a good idea. And if we find anything, the Keeper will want to know. All right. Now, I'm a rogue. This is Tamlin, he's a warrior. So it's only fitting that he goes into melee, so we're gonna have him switch weapon sets. And I'm gonna stay back and hit him with my bow. Highlight everything, because you might find something cool here. There might be something cool like that dead holla. See that dead holla? Might be a nice pelt in it for us. Yeah, maybe so. Stun the wolf, get your free hits here. Alright. Anybody drop any loot I should be aware of? It doesn't look it. That's alright, they were just wolves. Alright, dead holla. Keep going. Codex entries give you XP and anybody. <clears throat> Let me start again. These codex entries give you XP, and anybody who's ever played an RPG knows that in order to level up, you gotta get XP. Which also happens when I, as a rogue, pick a lock. Watch this yes. shit. There we go. It's not much, but it's not zero. A stump. All right. Nice. I'm off. Awesome! We can use the elf fruit to make healing potions. Yes. Shuffle, shuffle. This must be the cave. I don't recall seeing this before, do you? No, I don't. Let's check it out! My thoughts exactly. With luck, we'll find something that will make us clan heroes. Let's go! It looks like the Shem was telling the truth. But these ruins look more human than Elven. Oh! Spiders! Going. Ha! I've been waiting for this! Prepare to die! I stun him when he can just kill him. All right, we need to make some adjustments. There we go. We also need to put our 
healing potions in the inventory in our inventory that would be useful let's hit it and get it huh. wow I'm finding a lot of healing potions down here that's awesome <clears throat> picking 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 Ooh, iron scale gloves Do I have the strength to wear them no I need 14 strength let's level up and put a point or two in strength, shall we? Hmm. Oh! I hear spider bugs! I hear spider bugs! I'm... Ah, I've detected a trap! Let's disarm it after we kill these fucking spiders, shall we? Stun him! Fascinating. Damn! Don't look now. Yep, disarm it. Here we go. Crap, so simple to see, really. Oh, that's cursed. Cursed! Don't equip it. It's a spider bug! Stun it! Interrupted my own stun. Ah! I gotta learn to stay still for more than two minutes, two seconds. the statue, don't you? It's warm, but it looks vaguely familiar. Back when our people lived in Arlathan, statues like these honored the creators. When the Shems enslaved us, much of that lore was lost. This looks like human architecture, with the statue of our people. Can these ruins date back to the time of Arlathan? Huh. Perhaps, but there isn't much left down here. Yes. Time and decay take their toll. Still. There's bound to be something of value. Ah, yeah, there has to be. Wouldn't be a show if there was. Oh, come on! Did you have to step on that? I knew there was a trap. Like I said, folks, this isn't a blind fucking LP. I knew there was a trap there. And you stepped on it, damn it, you fucking idiot. God, you're gonna get us killed. Oh. 
Damn, Lenina looks so hot. I may not like you much, but drink a health potion anyway. Let's go! That guy's behind me! Quick! Are those walking corpses? This place is haunted. Damn right it yes. is. Iron great sword. Oh, a healing potion to replace the one I used. Kick ass. I know there's something huge behind that door. Like I said, not a blind LP. Tamlin, you take point. Scuffed-looking fucking bear, you ask me. Let's see what he wants. Uh, raid his stash. Here we go. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Put a point in strength. Better give me some constitution as well. Next. Speechcraft, most assuredly. Next. Give me the dual weapon sweep. In case things go, in th case things go hairy. I'm off. Oh, fire arrows. Thirty-nine of them. Oh, dude, four strength, four stam, leather bell. Oh, level eighteen. Uh, <laughs> leather bell. Beautiful, isn't it? I wonder what the writing says. Keeper might be able to translate it. Maybe, but she's not here to help us. Odd that it isn't broken like everything else. Especially with that bear lumbering around in here. I wonder what this writing is for. Maybe this isn't... Hey, did you see that? I think something moved inside the mirror. You're imagining things. No, it was right there. Wait, there it is again! Can you feel that? I think it knows we're here. I just need to take a closer look. It's showing me places. I can see some kind of city. Underground. And there's a great blackness. It saw me. Help! I can't look away! Can you hear me? I am very sorry. Yeesh. You're awake. You've the God's own luck, Letheline. You're back at camp. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? Fine, Fenerel, but a little groggy. We thought you would die. The Shem who brought you here said there wasn't much hope. Seems he was wrong. <laughs> we drove off some Shems in the forest. I doubt you could have driven this one off. He was a Grey Warden and appeared out of nowhere with you slung over his shoulder. You were delirious with fever. He said that he found you outside a cave in the forest, unconscious and alone. He left you here and ran off again. The Keeper's been using the old magic to heal you. I need to talk to the Keeper right away. She wants to talk to you, too. Stay here. I'll get her. I see you are awake, Dalan. It is fortunate Duncan found you when he did. I know not what dark power held you, but it nearly bled the life from you. 
It was difficult even for my magic to keep you alive. What happened to us? I know only that the Grey Warden found you in front of a strange cave, sick and alone. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Is that true? There were walking corpses and other strange monsters. Walking corpses? Dark magic, but not darkspawn. I know not what the other creatures might have been. What else did you find? What is the last thing you remember? Uh, a mirror. Tamlin touched it. A mirror? And it caused all this? I have never heard of such a thing in all the lore we have collected. Oh, I was hoping for answers when you woke. But there are only more questions. And Tamlin remains missing. He is more important than any lore in these ruins. If he is as sick as you were, his condition is grave. Duncan returned to the cave to search for Darkspawn, but we cannot rely on him to look for Tamlin as well. We must go ourselves, and quickly. Do you feel well enough to show us the way, Dalin? Without you, we will not find it. I'm up to a keeper. I feel fine. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Meryl with you to the cave. Find Tamlin if you can, but do it swiftly. Take Meryl to the cave and find Tamlin. I understand. Go quickly, for Tamlin's life hangs in the balance. Pray for me, Keeper. There are a lot of cool things at camp. Let's see what we can find. All right. Some lore. Pile of eggs. Ooh. Gray iron should be tier two. Yes, it is. Uh, oh. Switch. Shove that in my offhand. Unlock. Nice. Unlock. Open the crate. Awesome. Scroll. And... All right. I'm glad you've recovered. Once we find Tamlin, we can concentrate on the journey northward. Thank you for the bow, Master Aylin. It is light and sturdy, much better than the one I made last year. You are more than welcome. My father made it and used it in battle against the Claim tribes. I will carry it with honor. I'd like to hear the story of your father's battle. Then I am proud to tell it. Our clan was one of the first to flee the Dales. When we came to Ferelden, the fiercest of the Shimlin were the barbarians known as the Clane. We didn't wait for them to attack us. Every Dalish clan in Ferelden united to bring the battle to them. <laughs> we attacked them first. They were barbarians without honor. They would have slain us without a second thought. The ensuing battle went well for us. That day, we carved out our reputation of being the deadliest archers. Our arrows won us the right to wander these woods at will. It was this very bow that my father used that day. Thank you for the tale, Master Arlen, and especially the bow. I will honor its history. May I see your crafts, Master Arlen? Of course. Take whatever you need. All right. So, first we're going to sell some shit. This is cursed. So, uh, don't sell the... Okay. Sell one of those pairs of boots. We're gonna run into another rogue later. Sell the splint mail. I prefer scale. 
Uh, we're going to run into another rogue later, and she's going to need equipment, so we're going to give her the Dalish armor set with the helm. All right. We need a longbow, because longbows deal more damage than short bows. And I would also like a Darmisan sword for my main hand. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where we can dual wield, uh, dual wield regular swords. Oh, hello. One of my battle net buddies just logged on. Uh, don't sell the mana potion. We're going to run into a couple of mages, so we'll need mana potions. So why don't we? Why don't we buy some healing potions? Why don't we buy some lesser injury kits, folks? The way the way that injury. I want. Now, folks, the reason I bought that injury kit is because uh, you saw me. Uh, I mean, I hesitate to say die, but it, you know, it's the word I'm going to use for lack of a better term. Uh, you saw you saw my character go down. I actually died, and what happens is when you, when your character dies in this game, they don't actually die. Basically. They fall unconscious. They, they become unconscious. And when combat ends, they get back up. And if all your party members, and you know, if you and all your party members uh, get knocked out, it's game over. You gotta reload from the last save. Which the game will automatically do. If you select continue. So, the reason I'm bringing that up is because when you when combat ends and you stand back up, uh, you will find that you have an injury that affects, that negatively affects your character in some way, that hinders their ability to fight, or takes away a point of a certain stat. Like, maybe you'll have a, maybe you'll have a busted head, or a broken bone, or so something. Maybe you'll be bleeding or something. And what these injury kits do is they can remove the injuries you have, and click off the debuffs. A lesser injury kits only remove one injury at a time. But there are injury kits that remove more than one injury. There are injury kits that remove all your injuries. And uh, I believe, I know for a fact, lesser injury kits remove one injury. See? User regains a small amount of health and is cured of a single injury. Now, I know there are, in, there are standard injury kits that I believe cure up to three injuries, and I believe a greater injury kit cures all your injuries. But I could be wrong. It has been a while since I played this game, but I know a lesser injury kit, if somebody goes down when they get back up and they have an injury, you just click on them, you use the injury kit, you have them use the injury kit, and they're cured. So that's what that is. Uh, zoom. Equip the Darmisan sword. Switch. Equip the Dalish longbow. And yeah. All right. So let's go find Meryl. This way. This way. The chest I can unlock. Rough Dalish armor. A note. Yellow. The keeper told me I'm to accompany you back to those caves. As her apprentice, I may see something you missed. But our main objective is to find Tamlin, of course. We must make haste. He may not have much time. Hmm. Aren't you worried about getting sick? A little, but the Keeper cured you. How dangerous could it be? Even if I get sick, finding Tamlin or something valuable will be worth it. Well, let's go. And let us make haste while daylight lasts. Okay, so, 
Fun fact before we set off, I got a fun fact about Meryl. Meryl, this lady here, is this is oh this lady here, Meryl, right here. In Dragon Age 2, there is a character you can you know, there's a character you can bring into your party named Meryl, and yes, that's this Meryl here. That's the same Meryl that's in Dragon Age 2. Now, they redid her character, and she's got a different voice, but yes, Meryl from Dragon Age 2 is the same Meryl from Dragon Age Origins, and on top of that, on top of that, the clan that you encounter in Dragon Age Origins, that's if you were a Dalish Elf in Dragon Age, in uh, the, the clan you encounter in Dragon Age 2, if you rolled a Dalish Elf in Dragon Age Origins like I did, the clan you encounter in Dragon Age 2, the Dalish, if, if you rolled a Dalish Elf in Origins, that is your clan. Those are your guys. Thought you ought to know. Let's head out. Are those darkspawn? <laughs> that would make sense. I've never seen anything like them. You can smell the evil on them. Where did they come from? Were they here before? Uh, maybe they followed the Grey Warden here. Or he followed them. But why would they come here? And why would he? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's hope we don't find any more of these monsters. Before we go, are you all right? Were you hurt during the fight? I'm fine. Why do you ask? It's just that you're... Quite pale. You look a bit feverish, in fact. Hmm. I'm... I'm fine. Well, I'll keep an eye on you. You've only just recovered from your illness. But let's not think of that now. We should move on. I agree. Just get in the cave and shut up, frickin' Krendar. Just get in the cave, shut up, and quit your bitchin'. Quit your bitchin', Krendar! I wonder whose camp this is. Do you remember it being here? Maybe it belongs to the Shemlin who found me. You're probably right. Didn't he say he was headed back to the cave? If so, he's not here now. And we've seen no sign of Tamlin. Maybe we should... Wait. Do you hear that? No forest creatures. It's too quiet. Exactly. The forest is too... still. Something's in the air. Something unnatural. Careful. I don't like this. It seems whatever you woke up inside that cave has spread outside. The sooner we find this cave and Tamlin, the sooner we can leave. Take us there quickly. Money, money. Why would creatures who are basically demon orcs have money? Yeah, video game logic. I'm going.
What's this? Huh. Huh. Oh! It's that spider from earlier. He did have some. So these are the ruins. Interesting. They're definitely of human origin, yet elven artifacts are scattered amongst them. Nothing explains the monsters, though. But we must find Tamlin, or what's left of him. I can't imagine he's still alive with those creatures about. Mm, you're probably right. Still, even if he's here somewhere, we need to find his body. Let's just pray we're wrong. Potion. I will also drink a healing potion. healing potion. Why, thank you. I've leveled up, so let's level. Right. Go ahead and take melee archer.
Yo! What's going on around here? So you were the one fighting Darkspawn. I thought I heard combat. You're the elf I found wandering the forest, aren't you? I'm surprised you have recovered. <laughs> if you heard the fighting, why didn't you help? I would have, had I not been battling them myself. Not all the kills here were yours, as you can see. My name is Duncan, and it's a pleasure to finally meet you. The last time we spoke, you were barely conscious. <laughs> and Daran Atisha and Duncan of the Grey Wardens. I am Meryl, the Keeper's apprentice. Your Keeper did not send you after me, did she? I told her I would be in no danger. Eh, we're looking for our brother, Tamlin. So, you and your friend Tamlin both entered this cave, and you saw this mirror. Yes, Tamlin touched the mirror, and I blacked out. I see. That's... unfortunate. The Grey Wardens have seen artifacts like this mirror before. It is Tevinter in origin, used for communication. Over time, some of them simply break. They become filled with the same taint as the Darkspawn. Tamlin's touch must have released it. It's what made you sick. And Tamlin too, I presume. Then we should destroy it. I agree. So long as the mirror exists, it is a threat to anyone nearby. I do not fear this sickness. The Keeper knows how to cure it. She may have weakened it, but she cannot cure it. Your recovery is only temporary. I can sense the sickness in you, and it is spreading. Look inside yourself, and you will see. Hmm, then what should I do? First, we deal with the mirror. It is a pestilence and a threat. It is done. Now let's leave this cursed place. I must speak with the Keeper immediately regarding your cure. Hmm. I agree. Let's leave. I sense no other darkspawn nearby, so it's safe. Lead on. I'm relieved you have returned. And I did not expect to see you again so soon, Duncan. I was not expecting to return so soon either, Keeper. Dare I ask of Tamlin? What did you find of him? Well, the Grey Warden says we'll find nothing. I see. Meryl, what about the mirror? Did you bring anything back? I can answer that, Keeper. I destroyed the mirror. I intended to use it to find a cure for this mysterious illness. I trust you had good reasons for your actions. Well, there is much to discuss, Keeper. I have learned a great deal since I was last here. Let us speak privately within my Aravel, then, Duncan. Meryl, warn the hunters. If Darkspawn are about, I want the clan prepared. Manuvin and Keeper, right away. Darlene, allow me some time to speak with Duncan. Seek us out at my Aravel later, and we can discuss your cure. Very well, Keeper. Tell Harin Pival what has occurred. He now has the sad task of preparing a service for the dead. Follow me, Duncan. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. All right. Let's look at some more cool shit. She replied to me. Let's go through this fucking camp and collect all the lore we see. I like lore, yes siree. I am the map pad of Dragon Age. Okay, maybe not, but uh where the hell's Island? You piece of crap! Hi. I see you have not returned with young Tamlin. Are we to assume the worst? Uh, the Great Warden says he will not be found. A sad day for our clan. I know you and Tamlin were friends. My condolences on your loss. Uh, thank you, Master Island. 
May the creators guide your path. Ah, back again? Uh, yeah, may I see your craftsmaster island? Of course. Take whatever you need. Yeah, I want to see your, uh, I want to see what you got for sale, man. Uh, let's see. We can sell. Sell one of them. Sell the malachite. Sell the garnet. see the other two injury kits. What have you got for armor? No, uh, no male armor except the split male boots I sold you. All right. Fine. So you return with the Grey Warden, but without Tamlin. What happened, Dalen? Is he truly lost to us? Uh, the Grey Warden says he is, but I'm not sure. Even if he's not, we must leave soon. To think I'd live to see this. It seems the will of the creators that I sing the dirge for those I held in my arms as babes. I think I know why our immortal ancestors would sleep. Swiftly do stars burn a path across the sky, hastening to place one last kiss upon your eye. Tenderly land enfolds you in slumber, softening the rolling thunder. Dagger now sheathed, bow no longer tense. During this, your last hour, only silence. I don't recognize that poem. Our ancestors did not age as we do. The Shemlin brought a quickening to our blood that changed us forever. Instead of death, those weary of life would pass into Uthanera, the waking slumber. In doing this, they made way for the young. It was supposed to be a beautiful time, a celebration of the Elder's long life and contribution to his people. Alas, we have no such ceremonies these days. Will you prepare a service for Tamlin, please? Of course. We've no body to return to the soil, but we shall still sing for Tamlin. The creators must come to guide him to the beyond. Tell the Keeper it shall be done before the clan is ready to move on. Thank you, Haran. Hmm. You know, it's imperative now more than ever to pass on what we know to the young. Let us tell these children of the fall of the Dales. You can honor me by sharing in the telling. Certainly, Horan. Come then. Help me as I go along. Children, hear of the fall of the Dales. Hear the tale of what makes you Dalish. Would you care to begin, Dalen? Long ago, we were slaves to the humans. Yes. Slaves to a terrible empire, the humans built on the darkest magic. When it fell, we became free. We built a homeland in the Dales, worshipping the creators and rebuilding the culture and history we lost in our long years of slavery. But the humans wouldn't let us be. They were resentful, because we would not worship their gods. And because we put our people first, over the years, their nations grew cold toward the Dales. In their eyes, we were blasphemers and cruel tyrants. Then the humans declared war on the Dales. And so the Dales fell. They took our lands and dispersed our people, forcing us to live in their cities and abandon our gods. But many of us, refused to relinquish our ways. We instead chose to scatter to the winds, wandering the lands. We chose wandering the lands rather than human, wor than human rule. To survive and preserve our culture, the clans stay apart until the day the Elvenon have a homeland once more. 
We shall return the old ways to those who have lost them. We are the Dalish, keepers of the lost lore, walkers of the lonely path. We are the last Alvenon. Never again shall we submit. Thank you for your forbearance, Dalen. You remember both the tale and the oath of the Dales perfectly. I will let you get on with your business now. <laughs> I'd like to hear more about our history. Now that's something I rarely hear. Of course. <laughs> Tell me about our laughing. Ah, yes. The Lost City. Before the Shemlin enslaved us, even before they came to this part of the world, our people lived in glorious Arlathan. Legends say that our ancestors were immortal, and we possessed magic the Shemlin could only dream of. Do no books record our history? When the humans enslaved us, they took away our language, our history, and our immortality. We quickened to the pace of life and retained nothing of ourselves. We were slaves for so long that even when we became free, there was little for us to recover. If books still exist, I do not know of them. Why do the Shems allow us to exist if they hate us so much? Perhaps they have no choice. Dalish clans are scattered to the winds and rarely gather, which makes us difficult for any organized effort to destroy. And why bother? We have nothing they want. No land, no treasure. And we always move on allowing no one to grow too angry with us. Some might see this as cowardly, but we are proud. We are the last, and we will survive. What happened to the elves who didn't join the Dalish? They remain in human cities, forgetting all they once had. We call them flat ears, for they differ little from their Shemlin masters. A few may return, but we must accept that they know nothing of the lore, or why we keep it. Do you think we'll ever find another homeland? We can hope to find a new home one day. Where the Dalish and the Flat Ears will build a land greater even than our Lathan. We shall teach the Flat Ears the lore they lost. And perhaps they will teach us to understand the Shemlin at last. That is the only way we shall truly live in peace. I think that's all. Thank you. Then I'm sure you have much to do. Unless you've other questions. Yeah. Did elves ever live in caves? I've never heard of such a thing. But in the days of ancient Arlathan, we lived free and spread far across the continent. We were as varied as the Shemlin, though fewer in number. Perhaps some of us lived in caves then, but all knowledge from that era is lost. Hmm. What do you know about Darkspawn? Only that they eat living flesh and lurk in underground tunnels, once ruled by the Durgenlen, the dwarves. In the last blight long ago, the Grey Wardens all but wiped them out. Should they return, all races will shudder. I should go. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. Your keeper and I have spoken and we've come to an arrangement that concerns you. My order is in need of help. You are in need of a cure. When I leave, I hope you will join me. You would make an excellent Grey Warden. Huh. Uh, I would be honored, but how did this come about? The darkspawn taint courses through your veins. That you recovered at all is remarkable, but eventually the taint will sicken and kill you, or worse. The Grey Wardens can prevent that but it means joining us. Then I will join you. I welcome you to the Order. It is rare to have a Dalish amongst us, but they have always served with distinction. I know you'll do your clan proud, Dalen. Take this ring. It is your heritage, and will protect you against the darkness to come. A valuable gift. So, are you ready to go? Uh, I'd like to stay for Tamlin's funeral. We have much ground to cover, but I cannot deny you that. Say your farewells. Then we must be off. Come then, Dalen. Before the creators guide you from us, let your clan embrace you one last time.
We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh there, friend. Might I know your name? I'm Krendar, Your Majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. You are Dalish, are you not? I hear your people possess remarkable skill and honor. <laughs> you know of the Dalish King Caelan? I wish I knew more, but your people aren't exactly fond of mine. For good reason. I tell you this, you are very welcome here. The Grey Wardens will benefit greatly with you amongst them. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize things were going so well. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. Catch you around, Kingy Ding! <laughs> What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. He doesn't seem to take the Darkspawn very seriously. True. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feelings. Why not? He seems to regard the Grey Wardens highly. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining <laughs> ritual without delay. <laughs> A hot meal might be nice first. <laughs> I agree. We have until nightfall to begin the ritual. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the Joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The Joining is what will cure you of the suffering your tainted blood surely brings you. If it had been possible, I would have done it before now. Mm. What do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Alright! I got an achievement! Cool. That's a new copy of the game, so... Probably gonna be getting a lot of achievements. Uh oh. Uh oh. 